Yeah, the whole the whole process is completely different on PC. The commanders, the ships, the way the guns work, the shells, everything is armor schemes. Everything is totally different. Totally and completely different. All right, so that's that. Okay, I'm gonna grab some water because I am super thirsty. <sighs> All right. All right. What up, Chet? We got Daniel, Godzilla, Shadow Gamer. Kabuki up in the house. What up, my dude? Ah, the struggle to reach the coal mine. Absolutely. Joshua, what up, guys? Welcome to the stream. We are back with some more railroads. Uh, getting sucked back into this game. After we took a little bit of a hiatus, me and Pete got into this a uh, couple of days ago, and then I got into it again last night. Spent six hours on this thing. Uh, before we get into the game, though, let me uh, showcase to you guys what we got done yesterday. So this is the updated map. So we can kind of go over everything and uh, I'll be real honest I don't know what all you guys can see but you can see this is the area that we did previous right so all of this we've got the shunt yard kabuki I don't think you've actually seen that but we have the shunt yard that peak built we have the uh, sawmill over here we have the logging camp we have the smeltery then we went down to the game? iron man what's up hello is your game titled 34 no Title SE43. Um, but yeah, so then we went to uh, the iron mine. Well, the last time Peak and I uh, played this, we actually ended up rebuilding the iron mine area. So it's much nicer down there. Plus, we can loop out of there and go back to the smeltery uh, forwards rather than having to reverse down the mountain, which is definitely not preferable. Um, and then last night, if you missed that six hours of madness, I built... I rebuilt this area around the uh, the backside of the freight depot, and then I went from there all the way down here to the oil field. Rebuilt, I built all of this, and then I went over to the uh, oh, what do you call I can't this? Find your game, dog. Ironworks, and we did that one, and then I went over to the refinery and did that. So this was six hours of live streaming. Your game's not up. Okay. Gonna have to I'm going to have to try something, or you're going to have to check and make sure you're still in the same region as me. I, I didn't change it. I didn't either. All right. So get that back out of the way. Um, all right. Let me click on the game. I'm on U.S. Dallas. Well, there's your problem. You're supposed to be on U.S. Columbus. Don't ask me why I, why I changed. Damn you. Probably because of all the uh, changes to your internet lately. Well, You think so? It's possible. If Steam found something that was working better for you at the time. I'm going to restart my server again. All right. What up, Clayton, Scott, Ender, Neon Eagle? Uh, oh, I see how it is, huh? No, I see Trill. how it is. They go over, they leave me and go to your stream, huh? Christopher yeah. Hill, XGN, Multi Killer. I'm just peeking in before I take the girls for walks. Hey, there you go. Appreciate you, Kabuki. It's good seeing you back in the stream. That's nice. He takes his women on walks. Yeah, you know. Always, it's always good to walk your women. You'll be back after the foxes drag me all across the creation. Well, be careful, my dude. Enjoy it. I'm sure they get a nice little 
breath of fresh air and get to run around like crazy, crazy fox. Now I get to load into your ridiculously world. Oh, yeah, ridiculous and especially with all the stuff that's changed since you left. I mean, there's not a lot of bridges, but there was a lot of, uh, a lot of development. I can hear it. It's going to take me five minutes to load in. Multikiller says he beat my damage record in the Montana. If it was in an arena, it doesn't count. I think the arena stuff is held separately. It is. So, ha! Dude, where are we? Oh, we're at the... We're at the solo. Nothing's loaded in. None yep. of the trees have loaded in. <laughs> yeah, uh, I brought wow. everything it's back crazy. to you so that we would be able to jump on the train and just go for a ride. All right. I might as well go ahead and fill up the firebox while we're waiting for you to catch up. It's going to take me minutes to load in, I guarantee Right now, my RAM, my computer's sitting there going. So what you're saying is your computer can't handle it. Oh, it can definitely handle it. It's just there's so much to load on this world. I can't imagine. I mean, we have so few bridges, even though half of our half of our map, at least everything on that side of those mountains, is all bridges. Still rendering. <laughs> Well, I think, I think we're good. You want to disconnect these trains? No. Cars? What's why? Why do that? Well, just so we don't have a problem, maybe. We ain't gonna have no problem. We gonna full throttle this bitch. Let's go. I ain't scared. All right. Let's see it. Let's see it. So you made, you made it down to, uh, we went all the way to the refinery. refinery. Yep. Okay. Yeah. You're going to, you're going to get to sit back and relax and enjoy a, uh, <laughs> if you only got 285, you did not beat my record. Mine's 289, I believe, or 287 at least. It is 280. It's either 287 or 286 or 289. So 285 is not enough. But yeah, the beautiful thing is we can literally just uh, hightail it all the way out of here. Like I said, this whole new section is all like capable of being run at full throttle. I wonder like, what I ain't even scared. these thoughts are on doing passenger stuff one day in this game. I think there's discussion about it. I mean, yeah. the Eureka is technically a passenger train, if I remember correctly. I think so too. Or a passenger so where's locomotive. This line, where's this line break? Is it uh, freight yard that it breaks off? Yeah, it goes from uh, freight yard or freight depot over to uh, coal mine and all that. Well, actually, not to the coal mine yet, but Hopefully after today, we'll be at the coal mine. We're doing it fancy style. We're going to go up over the mountain like we did at the freight depot. It's going to be beautiful. And uh, if you look off to your right, folks, this is our shunt yard, a.k.a., uh, you know, Peak's, Peak's last final destination. Right here. we got our round table, our roundhouse storage. You gotta love it. Uh, right, going right there in that shunt yard. He did do a pretty decent job, got to say. Gotta say. Took me forever. Actually, your forever damage record was 299 for damage, and you're not lying. Well, then post the screenshot in the in the Discord, and they'll verify it. And if you beat me, you beat me. I don't care. It's only my first uh, ever world record. It would be nice if it stood a little longer, considering nobody took Pete or took Hive's damage record from him until I took it. So. But you know, to each their own. Okay, it breaks here. Okay. 
Uh, this is the old line. This, this is still part of what used to be here coming around the freight depot. I did re-engineer this a little bit so that it's less uh, disgusting. And then I redid the corner down here so it's not as as tight as it used to be. You know, if you came through here before, you would derail. Yeah. Uh, yeah. If you went too fast. Well, now we don't have to worry about that. Plus, here you can see we break off. I put in a triangle intersection so you can come from either side of the freight depot and head out this way. Okay. That's good. Again, full throttle. I'm still at 100%. I ain't scared. And most of these switches should already be set to come out this direction anyway. I like being able to ride. Yeah, it's just a nice little gallivant through. This is where I need to bring some of these trees away from the track a little bit further. I like to, like, move my camera and look at my train at different angles, and the trees get in the way. Yeah. So... I need to take them back a little bit further. One or two more tree back on each side. But yeah, this is, like I said, this part through here is really not that hard. Like this this pretty pretty flat all the way through until you get to the refinery. Got you. Did you. So you did all three places? Yeah, I've done all three of them. Okay. The goal was to go to the coal mine, and I kind of got distracted, and then six hours later, I... I was like, you know what? This is a bit ridiculous. I think I'm done for the day. Oh my. I'm going to have to go investigate that because I've never been there. I don't know what you're looking at to get there. Oh, well, we'll, we'll check it out. We got to go to the, we're going to go to the refinery anyway, and then we'll be able to uh, scout it from there. Billy Goat. This section through here could have been a little bit straighter, but it still works, so I don't care. Yeah, it's, I wouldn't worry about. Again, full throttle, never let off. Good. Who do I have going to the Super Bowl? Well, my dude Brady just lost today, even though I thought he was going to pull off another ridiculous 27-3 comeback. But uh, defense gave up a field goal at the end of the game. How many freaking playoff games ended by way of field goal in the closing seconds? My God. This weekend was ridiculous. That's three different KC playoff Bills games. Ending. KC Bills was really good. At the end of that game was really good. I don't quite understand how KC wins by scoring one touchdown, you know? Uh, at the end of the, was it overtime, I'm assuming? Sudden death? Yeah, it was OT, but like the, the opposition never had a chance to. Right, well, that's the, that's the NFL's bullshit. Also, uh, we're going to slow down, and instead of taking to the left, we're going to hit this switch up here. Okay, I'm coming. Gotta drink some water. You know, I actually kind of like having the trees closer to the track for this, but I know we, it's annoying. Are you ghost riding the whip right now? Oh, I just... Took and uh, let off the cooler. throttle and let it coast to a stop. Where are we on the map now? Okay, we're at the oil field. Yeah, Damn, we're right at the oil field. We've got a long field. ways. We're not even there. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, six hours, man. What's up, Dreams? They need to fix the overtime rules. I completely agree. That's... They, that, okay, I don't like we're that. going to the right, so that's perfect. Oh, yeah. 100% power. Watch, now it'll derail. fucking derail because of some multiplayer glitch. Part of derail, I'm calling it. This doesn't look bad, though. Wow, look at this place. Yeah, it should remind you of home a little bit. I mean, without all the trees. There's no crude oil. So we got to supply pipe, lumber. Yeah, we got to supply uh, beams and pipe to these guys, I think. 
Wow. Dude, look at this. Excuse me, oil oil facility. There's a tree growing out of one of your houses. One yeah, house that's that's a thing. Blame Kabuki for that. <laughs> this is what where is you this? pick up. You this is where you fill your cars. Your tankers. Really? With oil. Oh, you actually have to drop tools, beams, and pipes. Here. I forgot about that. Tools? Where do we make tools? At the, um... The ironworks, I think? Alright, there should be a switch coming up. I don't remember if it's switched for us or not, so I'm gonna slow it down and... Ease. Yeah, it's on the wrong way, so... No biggie. But that's oh. the oil field. What do you think of the track so far? Pretty good. And that was 100% throttle all the way through there. Floor it, Captain. Alright, so uh, the good news is there isn't a whole lot of uh, time between the oil field and the ironworks, so we'll be coming up on the ironworks shortly. Okay. You can see it straight ahead of us. And I can't see the switch. Switch is not set cor correctly. So we'll go ahead and slow down. Give us a little bit of break. We'll go in and we'll test the loop around the... Uh, the ironworks. This is where I remove the most trees. When you see this area, you'll know why. I I literally cut down every tree inside the loop of my railroad tracks. And it looks amazing if you ask me. Just trying to look and see where the coal mine's that way. Man, this is a huge map. It is. It's a huge map. Right? Yeah, we're going to go around the right, and then we'll come out of that side to go towards refinery. Again, full throttle, no problem. Keegan says hi. Hello? Keegan. I don't know. The guy in chat said, hi, say hi to Peek for me. So I said, say hi to Peek. You say Keegan? Keegan. With a K. Keegan. Oh. I still got to get rid of the, the trees on the backside of this place. A little bit of an oopsie. I forgot about them. I, I got so worried about cutting all the other trees down, I completely forgot about these ones. Now we're going to go off to the right. We'll head over to the refinery. You can see where like you it. pick up here. Like I said, this was a super easy one to do. Like, this took no time at all. Right. How smooth was that transition out of the inner loop to the outside, though? That was pretty, pretty nice, right? And then the double track section coming out. And, oh, my God, we need to slow down. Now we're going to get a little bit jank on the way up because uh, it gets kind of, I, I say steep, it's a 3% grade, so it's really not that bad. But, but the dirt do be getting to the sky. Uh-oh. Good thing there's plenty of cars to get caught on. Yeah, I'm trying to get where I can stand on the, the outside of the, the engine. Yeah. I don't think it works. I think you glitch right through. 
used to work. Yeah, this was the only real incline that I had to deal with yesterday. Everything else was pretty flat. What is this, three degrees? Yep, three degrees, three percent. Looks like we're going to be going around to the left here. Doesn't really matter because this just loops out. But wait till you see what I had to do. The developers are jerks for this place. I'm not going to lie. That's going to suck deliver into. But here's a refinery where crude oil turns into fuel. Oil this barrels. Place to drop off oil you drop off oil barrels. Uh, you drop off, uh, you unload your tankers, I think. Gotcha. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty ridiculous. And then, like I said, there's three different platforms at three different levels that I had to freaking make a thing for. Ridiculous. But I think I did it about as good as you could possibly do it. I still gotta build the backstops for those rails, but. Oh. Look at that. You had a little bobble on one of the switches, but then it didn't affect anything else. So. Yeah, but I don't know. I'm gonna have to check that corner out. There might be a wrinkle in that corner. But uh, yeah, that's. Crude oil. That's that. Um, that's, a, that's a lot of building. That's a lot of building. That was six hours, my dude. Six hours. Ridiculous. Um, so do you want to bunny hop over the hill here? And yeah, that was the goal. We're going to we're gonna go over here and see. Uh, I figure once we get to the top of the mountain right there, the lowest point, like in between the two peaks that you see, uh, we can build yeah. down from that would be the easiest way to do it at a 3% grade. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. I'm gonna run over there and see what it looks like. Maybe even run to coal mine and see what that looks like, cause God Almighty. Yeah. So let me get rid of that. Question is, would we want to tie in at the very end point back here where the train is, or would we want to tie in farther down? You know. It depends on what we have to do to get down from the mountain. You know what I mean? I said it'd yeah. be easiest to start at the top and work our way down on mm -hmm. both sides. I'm curious what the elevation drop to the coal mine is on the other side of this hill. You and me both. I haven't been there yet, so I have no idea. I didn't want to do everything without you. Plus, you really like building bridges, and I thought this would be a fun one. I do. Damn, this is a lot taller than I thought it was. Yeah, it's it's pretty hefty. This is um, a lot taller than I thought it was. It did look that tall from far away, but... Yeah, it's it's no joke, and there's a gigantic the valley. Like, this, this little refinery is on a nice plateau... But it's surrounded by like valleys, and then you got to go up the mountain. So we would probably end up linking off of the backside of the refinery, if I had to guess, putting our like triangle switch over there, and then uh, just meandering up the side of the mountain until we get to that that area, if I had to guess. Yeah, I'm up here right now. God Almighty, this is so steep. Mm-hmm. Crap, Ola. Time to make dirt works to get up this thing. It do be like that sometimes. It really do.
What up, SPD? Holy Appreciate you dropping in. Ow, dude. Look at this view. Mm -hmm. Oh, my I figured God. it would be a good one, because this, I think, is the tallest mountain on the map. Oh, my God. That is incredible. Oh, boy. This my is going to be the longest bridge ever. My Skyriming is failing me now. That's ah! screenshot worthy. Oh my god, where is the coal mine? Oh, there's another waterfall over here. Nice. It's like the coal mine. Can't really tell. Maybe it's right there. Bro, this is insane. It's gonna be it's gonna be a thing. Now I know the coal mine is up high, like it's not down in the valley. I think it's it's up on the side of the mountain. Yeah. Because I, I remember Con, uh, Con actually recently went to the coal mine. Now, he went the old-fashioned way. He went all the way down the river valley. That's going to take way too long. That's a lot of track laying. So, I figure we could do as much track laying by meandering up the side of a mountain and just cutting over. <laughs> yeah. Or at least save ourselves some time, hopefully, in terms of trips from one to the other. I'm going to put a temporary bridge in here just to mark this. I, I think I found where you uh, have come up. Point. Yeah, get up there and turn around and look. It's damn impressive. Yeah, I made a big X here. X marks the spot. This is the, the lowest point in the valley not. That's pretty yeah. awesome. And the fact that I cleared yeah. all the trees from around the oil field and the, the ironworks and the refinery, like it, you could see all three locations so clearly from here. Mm -hmm. Damn. Damn is right. That's awesome. This very clearly cannot come out of here and go left. It's too steep. It's a bluff. It's got to come through this cross and it's got to go right. Ooh, there's a big waterfall over there. Is that the one you were talking about? Also, I see the coal yeah. mine. The coal mine I'm is over, right... I'm just over here on your side. I'm... Where? See me on the bridge right here? What bridge? See the big wooden bridge I put in? Nope. I saw you for a second. I'm in a notch. I see you. I don't see you. Back I'm assuming up. you climbed higher? No. I went lower. Oh. Well, what the hell? Where are you hiding? I'm standing on a giant wooden bridge. I think this is totally possible. I think we need to map out oh. where... Hi. You see the giant wooden bridge? Yeah, I see the giant <laughs> wooden bridge. I was like, I'm I mean, looking all over. Did you see? The, do you can see it from here. You can see the coal mine sticking out of the mountain over there, right? I couldn't quite tell. Let's go over there and look at it. I'm coming with you. I was going to say, you can clearly see it from here. Unless, of course, your render distance isn't quite as good as mine because you're in uh, multiplayer. I think, I think that's what it is. I can't see it. What up, it. Matthew? How's it going? Flynn as well? Later, Flynn. Hey, where'd you go? I'm literally standing right here at the top. Let me up! God almighty! Oh. Oh no! Oh, oh god. Oh, I almost <laughs> fell off the bluff. Dude, you literally about yeeted yourself right off of that cliff. That would have been amazing. All right, so yeah, you I should be able to come over here and see it directly across from us. You, I don't know if I you see can a see. flat spot. I thought might have been it, but I can't see any. Yeah, it's or anything. it is literally only a couple of hundred feet below us, and it's at the highest point of the little flat spot that you're seeing sticking out. You've got the uh, the big waterfall to the left, and you got the giant mountain to the right. It is literally directly between those two points on that little uh, plateau. Is it down at the bottom or is it on the side of the hill? It's on the side. It's it is literally right on a like plateau from here. Okay. Yeah, I can't see it. I'm gonna run. I'm gonna check out this terrain though. Yeah. So the way I figure is one of us can work on getting down from the uh, the midpoint of this mountain to the refinery, 
and the other can work on going from that same midpoint to the uh, coal mine. That way we're building both wow. ends at the same time. So this is going to have to loop around huge valley here. It's just got a Yeah, it's a massive valley. I'm at a point where I'm just looking at this giant ditch. Uh-huh. But if you notice, there does seem to be a nice little area that's cut out on the side of the mountain over there that looks, you know, suspiciously like a railroad line supposed to go through there. Do you want to line this in two different directions? Um, I don't think it'll be necessary because you're never going to go there from anywhere else. It is literally something that you're going to be going from the roof. Um, the, like, ironworks and stuff from, I believe. And, I mean, it'll depend on what we actually need to deliver, but I think it'll be something we need to bring, like... I don't know, to be honest. I honestly don't know. Yeah, I was going to say, because, like, if we needed to go coal mine to smelter... Then obviously we need to put in another line for that. Right. Which we could do that and just make it. But we'll do I don't think we actually need to go to the smelter with this. Yeah, I've got no idea. I don't know what it what it takes, like to be honest. Actually I lied, it probably does take stuff from the smelter. Probably takes those rails. Mm. If I had to guess. I mean, mine carts. They need rails. True. One thing's for sure, it's a monumental project. Yeah, I'm on a very suspicious looking flat. Yeah, it very, here. It looks like very much looks like it's supposed to be a, a train track come through here, right? I mean, it looks really cool, too. Mm-hmm. And then there's a nice little... Uh, bridge opportunity here I gotta be getting close to this thing okay yeah I'm on the flat I'm on the plateau now still can't see it yet oh wait wait I think I see it I see it okay boom we are here all right Let's SPD have a good night man thanks for dropping in Wooden beams, that's fucking great. And uh, rails. So, smelter? The yeah. smelter make rails? Or? Yeah, the smelter makes the rails, I think. Yeah, it makes rails oh. in uh, raw iron. So, this is going to have to connect... What is the end goal? To buy everything? Yeah, to, to expand, to, to run to tracks. Run tracks to all of the places and make money. Mm -hmm. And then eventually let people come in and uh, run stuff together. It'll be right. fun. Yeah, let people come in and play around. And, and plus, they're going to be adding hundreds of new trains and other content. And, all right, so this is, this is the big thing. We got beams here. We got rails there we got coal that seems to be dumped on the ground not very cool well okay so we have two gigantic projects of yo the fact that they got these buckets coming up from like the ground here is pretty sick Isn't that cool yeah i mean it's a shame that the grass is still here and it's just painted That's black. But yeah. but other than that, I mean, it looks looks fantastic. Really does. Yeah. Look, there goes one down. One comes up. Mm-hmm. So okay, we got two giant projects out of us, Spartan. Yes. How would you like to tackle this? So here's These the are thing. Big projects. One of us probably ought to go ahead and do the uh, the river valley to the smelter. And one of us should do the line up the side of the mountain 
and to the coal mine from a refinery. That way we got one gigantic loop. And imagine being able to, at some point, run the entire loop of the outside of the place. Would that not be cool? Uh, it'll take you 20 minutes. Oh, it'll take, it'll take a while, yeah. But it'll still be awesome. It'll be worth it. Absolutely. Um, so that's, that's goal. So given your expertise with bridges, I think you are uniquely suited to being the guy that goes up over the mountain and back down to here. Okay, I like it. And I and will somehow the try longest, to... The longest single to, continuous track in the game. To not lose my damn mind. You realize that is going to be the longest single continuous track. It's going to be a task. And I don't think I'm going to finish it in one sitting. Because... Hard to say. We currently have 19 kilometers of, of track laid on this, this map. Right. I think that is probably like 10 kilometers of its own. Like, that is a long freaking ways. Well, all we can do is uh, get after it. I'll be real honest. I think I'm just going to cheese it. So I think first of all, we need to build our platform up here, our little roundabout, what you might call it. So let's find a good grade that we're gonna enjoy. So something like, uh, let's go groundwork, oof, go. Two up. variable here. So something do, like, like that. And then we can just steal this groundwork and keep it at that. I made one too. Which one? I made mine a little bit higher, um, just because I know that it's sometimes gets hard to see. But yeah, see yours I think is just a little low because it would get covered up by grass and shit, and that's really obnoxious to try to see. Okay. Um, let me lay a straight line here from here. Boink. What up, William? I got rid of the screen ticker there. Okay, ground alarm. Yeah, that's probably a good height. Yeah, that keeps it up out of the grass and just makes it really easy to see. It's kind of what I did yesterday, and it made my life a lot easier. And then we can build the loop around. Honestly, I don't even How know... About how we're going to turn how around about, up here. How about you do this? I'll and get you start on the bridge. On the bridge. Okay. And I'll start on part one, which is bringing it down to the coal mine. Boy, I don't know. That's just... It's a, it's a hell of a project. And like I said, I don't think we're going to get it done in one sitting. I figure we'll do a couple hours tonight and then maybe, uh, you know, do a couple hours later this week or something. Can I please get this to be centered? Oh, you know what step one should have been to is clean all the trees out. Yeah, but I always clean the trees after the fact. At least then we could see what we're working with. Okay. So now, left alt. Boy, I'm glad that that's still a thing. God dang it. Finally get the damn... God, you're cutting the trees. It's... I was like, what the hell is that noise all of a sudden? Because all it sounds like is like ruffling for me. I don't hear the like, the timber part of it. Just clearing out a little bit here. Alright. Now we've got 22 degrees. 
I don't know if there's going to be enough room to turn around or not. It's pretty tight. Might have to go out of over the open. I've got to figure out how to get a how to get the line here. God Almighty, that's going to be difficult. Pause, man. What's up, dude? All right. You love our enthusiasm. Well, that's because we love this game. It's just a quality game. Go ahead and give it a little bit of straight, and then start to turn back around. And pray to God that we can somehow get this turned around, because I don't know if we were going to be able to. Ooh. You know, sometimes I impress myself. Uh, it looks like, Spartan, the line looks like they've got a path for you to come up the, to the coal mine from Smelter over here. Mm hmm. And it looks like this goes all the way down to the river basin. I could be wrong, just what it looks like. Oh, you're probably not wrong. Like I'm, I'm sure that's really a thing. Um, because like I said, they literally cut that into the side of the mountain. Like you can't tell me that ain't exactly what they had in mind. Right. Um. Now, with that being said, I do believe that. Uh, I will be taking a straight shot off the side of this cliff and going in a, like a bridge all the way down. Because that would cut so much time off of that trip. Rather than following the, the, the ground. Mm -hmm. No. Don't go anywhere. Yeah. No. Go to. Ah. Got it. Ah. Go to. My goodness, Tim. Damn. Oh, this is crazy. Parkour! I think I'm going to need to go a little further out. Can't lose what you never had. Yeah, I mean, we're gonna we're gonna try, Chris. We're we're actually gonna try. I don't know if I'll be able to pull it off, but I'm gonna try to get this thing turned around up here. I think I'll be able to pull it off.
tree. Are you seriously going to cock block me right now? Fuck off. All right, so if we turn out... Twenty-two degrees. Oh boy, I yeeted myself off the cliff. Damn. Thank you. 
shit. Over the cliff we go. Well, that's... There's your problem, folks. We got nothing to build on. We seem to have yeeted ourselves off of a cliff. Go figure. Switch packs will help you keep the grade below 4%. I'm not exceeding 3. Yeah, 3% yeah. seems to be pretty doable even with decent train or like with our with our DNRG anyway, with a uh, decent sized train. Yeah. I think we've we've hauled what twelve loaded cars up and down three percent. Quite a few. And that's with the new yeah, physics yeah. update too. Oh Jesus. literally building on the side of a cliff <laughs> yeah this is nuts see i might have to level it out right here chat to to get it to where i can hook hook the way i want to hook do a little preliminary investigation of the area Okay, a nice little crater here. Help us. Yeah, I think this is going to end up being a teardrop. I, I can't do like a racetrack up here, unfortunately. I mean, without, I mean, short of literally taking a bridge uh, off the side of the, the cliff. I guess that's always. You know a what you could do? We could put in a turntable. Worst case. To literally turn the engine around on a turntable. And then hook up to the back of the train. Worst case. Yeah, I guess technically we could. But. Worst case. Like I said, the way I the way I would do it would be like a teardrop. And you could go in, drop off, and then just head out and merge back into the same line you came into. Yeah, but you're on the side of a hill though. It might be kind of difficult. Like, I can do a teardrop. I was trying to do, like, a full loop in here. And that's what's causing me some, some issues. Because this one side, I just don't think that there's enough room. running into some engineering challenges here. Alright, let's try a steel bridge, maybe.
close. Then we can hook in a 10 degree arc to the right. Gets the engine help. How did it end up that much higher? That makes no sense. God, I hate bridges in this game. This is clearly an incline, even though it was supposed to be flat. All right, so, yep, that's out of the question. Let's just do the teardrop and be done. Uh, DK or GG, I do World of Warships videos noon every Monday through Friday and sometimes on the weekends. So tomorrow at noon, at least noon Eastern time. Are you planning on utilizing that little trail uh, at any point? The one that we saw coming up the mountain? I'm not going to be able to get down to that little trail, I don't think. Okay. I was just trying to figure out how, like, I don't know how you're going to connect yet, so I'm not sure, like, where you would need me to uh, to do the thing. Alright, so we want this to be basically right here. And then we can lay Let me up, let me up. This is a tough one. This thing sticks out so far right here. Oh my god, let me up the hill. Oh, 
You know the max bridge turn? 15? 10? 15? No idea. I know the bridges tend to turn harder than. Uh... Yeah. Rule of thumb, I've always done 10. But I might need to do more here in this one corner. set it for a 15 we'll see what happens gonna have to go back and clear. Okay. A bit of bridge already done. Got to go verify that it's going to work as intended. Nothing too sharp. You know how this shit goes. Mm Yeah, DG, we do it all, man. We do a little bit of everything. Keeps keeps everything nice and fresh. You don't have to like get burnt out on one thing. Makes it nice.
where we're at. You know, after looking at this a little closer, I might be able to join up with your with your main line that you're going to be running north. Might be able to do it. All right, so that's the teardrop. Um, do we want to just cut all of the trees off of this plateau, or? That's kind of what I was thinking. I think that's what I'm gonna do. I think I'm just gonna go through, chop all these trees down now. It's a coal mine. There would literally be no trees left here. They would have cut them all down. There'd be mounds of coal everywhere. 
I just don't understand why they put the coal mine like exit where they did. You think in real life they would have done a mine at the bottom of this freaking thing? Why dig a mine like this when you could just go at the bottom of the mountain? I guess it depends on where the coal seam is, but it just seems redundant to uh, dig a hole in a mountain to get to coal. You guys like trees you might want to close your eyes i've been trying to stay above your line and i'm here to tell you it's way too um uh, it's way too tight of a corner in this thing so i'm gonna have to cut across the valley and your line coming out is gonna have to be bridged across so we're gonna have to build platforms to put bridges on in this valley because it's it's like a hairpin 70 degree corner it's, it's ridiculously too much of course the one tree okay that tree gets to live We're not going to worry about the trees on the side of the mountain. Just the ones that are actually up here. What up, nuts? How's it going? Welcome to the stream. be right here it's gotta be you do what you have to do and we'll work around the wrist for the other line like i said the main line for me right now is to try to get straight from all of the other things to here because i know the coal has to go over there you know what i mean uh -huh. so that'll be the shortest route to the coal mine from the coal mine to uh, the ironworks as well. Well, actually, I could branch it right here and keep this corner going. I think that's what I'm going to do. Move here. So many dead trees. Kinda wish it didn't need to like click 30 times to finally get one to register on the tree. It's like there's a cooldown. This could branch to the left. Okay, let's build that. Build that.
there. Gonna have to straight up build foundations in the bottom of this valley though mm -hmm. to support the bridge. Yeah, your trees on farm sim don't come down this fast. Where's Paul Bunyan when you need him? Just come in here and clear this whole thing with one fell swoop. Think about a story I haven't heard or thought about in a long time. Holy cow. Paul Bunyan. I mean... Oklahoma probably doesn't have a whole lot of Paul Bunyans, though. We've got every biome, dude. We got swamp, we got mountains. We got a well, we got a lot of forestry here. A lot more than you think from not from not living here. Well, we've made a dent, guys. All right, inner circle is cleared. Now we gotta, uh... figure out what we're gonna do from the other side. Less headache, yeah. No way this is going to reach.
I have up there? 12 degrees? Oh shit, this is in my reach. No way. Oh, can one get so lucky? One could, but not this guy. Speaking of one, have you seen the new Matrix? No. Me neither. I heard it was really not very good. I, I figure it can't be as good as I remember the Matrix movies being. So, like, I haven't, I haven't even thought about it. Until today. Yeah, I've heard it's just not as good as the old ones. I mean, bullet time is only cool back in the day just due to the fact that nobody did it. Now it's just not quite as awesome. You think you can defy me, tree? Be gone. All right. So there's that. So teardrop is done up here. So our little roundabout teardrop is done. Now, I've got to, uh, oh god, I see bridges. Look what Pete gets the uh, honor of, of oh, constructing. Oh, that goes straight right there? God dang it. I knew something didn't line up right. Fucking wacky bridges, dude. All right. And on that bombshell, let's, uh, I guess, try to make our way down this fucking mountain. This is gonna be the longest freaking, or longest track ever. What I'll, we'll do is I'll probably have this done and I'll probably start at the other end and try and meet you halfway or something unless you want to do it all yourself you got a heck of a long bridge okay bridge no more Mr. Nice Guy Oh god, I just fell. Dang it. I have no way up. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Billy go, Billy go, Billy go, Billy go. Get, make it, make it, make it. Oh god, no. Oh god. Oh, please, yes, yes. Alright, yes. Well, I'm the goat. Let's go ahead and up, 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 up. Get rid of that. Oh. That'll be a bridge. Oh, this will work, this will work, this will work. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Shut No! Oh god, I was so close. Oh, I was so close. Alright, this time. We got it. Yes! Golden. Golden. Hold on, we need to get up here and survey.
Well, the good news is any you should be able to clearly see the place now because there isn't a tree for miles. I uh, have completely clear cut this entire forest. All right, groundwork, constant grade. We're shooting for right here. All right, so. Go five this way, and we'll start this left turn. Okay, come on. Come on through, baby. Okay, uh, let's go with variable grade for this next portion. I didn't mean to click that in. I didn't clear the trees. Oh no. Oh, it's so perfect. I just, oh no. No, 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 no. Please, 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 please. No, no. No. No, I didn't just do that to myself. All that work. Look how perfect it comes out. Just right there. Just right there. Oh. Oh, that so sucks, dude. Oh, that that hurts. That hurts the testiculars. Oh, I can't believe I just did that. Could be worse. Dude. Oh my god. I had it so perfect, bro. I have to rip it all up. Because for some reason, you still can't lop off the trees that are underneath this thing. Kaboom. Okay. You know what I wish? I wish that things would be physical objects before you have to hit the button to confirm everything. So that you could actually stand on the thing that you're building and see what the hell you're doing. That that would be nice. Live it on a pipe dream there, brother. Am I though? I literally can't see shit. I know, you see what I've done over here. I had to construct a whole bridge just to be able to see what I'm doing. I had, to, I had to build a bridge to build a bridge. God damn it, Pete. Don't fall off your bridge. Okay, we got this. Oh, super goaded. Super goaded. They call him a goat because he is part goat. We'll take it down to 10. Dude, it sucks so eight. bad. What's going on here? Game? Oh, yeah, because you're the zero degree glitch. Got it.
trees, Peek. Cut the fucking trees. That. Oh, good lord. Could you imagine if you had to service all your bridges? Hmm. Answer to life's mysteries when it comes to turns in this game is 22. Why? Why do you say that? Is that what's working? Yeah, 22 degrees seems to be like exactly what half of these turns are. Me up here. I don't think this is too tight. I didn't know it would ever exceed over 15 on the bridge. But this little this little corner looks like it's tight. Bridges are weird. So I'll have to play that in with the track when I go to curve the track on it. Um, yikes. You started building from like a midpoint area, it looks like. Or is this huh? where you just got to? This I just got to here, yeah. Huh. Okay, it's not the end of the world. Uh, but we may need to change your elevation for this last section. Why? It's all three degrees. Yeah, but I'm coming in much higher than you. Well, what we do is we just pull this back. Right, well, that's what I'm saying. Like, we may need to change your elevation. Well, I just pull this back to this corner here. And then you come on through. Like you were doing. Mm -hmm. And what we can do is we can bridge it and get a switch going. But I'm not sure I left you any room over here. Hold on, let me go look. You can't stay on this track. Like you, the dirt path, you have to cut across like I did. Because it hairpins the shit out of you. What we could do is you go to my bridge, and then at the bridge we could have a switch. See what I'm saying, like a switch. I mean. I'm not gonna keep that foundation the way it is. I was just doing that to kind of take the foundation across so that I have an idea of what I need to build. Yeah. Because I was gonna put a bridge here. Are you downgrading it? 
Uh, this section here is flat because it was going to be a bridge. Okay. I mean, I was at negative three all the way to this point. Gotcha. But then I was going to go with a flat section, but I mean, we could continue the downgrade. I'm looking real quick to see what. So if I go. Actually, no, hold on. We're going to make it flat to here from where you are. It lines up absolutely dead nuts with the top of the bridge. Like that. And it is, it is within an inch of the top of the bridge. Okay. Well, let's uh, see what we end up with here. It might be a thing where we have to continue down this path and then break to the right and go underneath this next bridge. If we go far enough, I think we'll be able to make it. You got some pretty nice big spots there. You could probably feed a train line through. Well, fuck, I don't know. Uh, your grade that's over here is a little bit high. Great. I don't know if... You, yeah, do you know how you put your, uh, whatchamacallit? Your fucking foundation? I just did flat. Okay. Uh, can you come back over here to this little spot and try to drop it down a hair? Drop it down a hair. I mean, I could tr that ends up too high. Yeah, so like if I go half a percent over this, it's, or not even half, like a quarter of a percent, I'm too high. Uh, I think I would just, just track it. Because the track will, it'll, it'll deform. I think it'll be okay. See what I'm saying? Yeah, I, I would just, I would just track it. Best, you can put the bridge in, we'll put track on it and see what it does. Well, I've got this section laid, so I'm going to go ahead and start with the rail coming down the hill. So, Yeah, I just tracked it, and it's totally fine. Okay. No, no. Uh, oh, that's yeah. a good idea, Shobon. I'm going to drop a safe. Oh, yeah. Jesus Christ. We haven't saved in so long. Two Pre hours. Appreciate it. What up, JR? How's it going? Azuma, how's it going? Delta? Appreciate everybody dropping in. Bro, I really don't know how we're going to make this work. Does it look bad? Yeah, all seven of them. Yeah, Guru. Yeah, I got. I went through. Uh, I think it was six routers. It's not a router problem. It's a AT and T sucking cocks problem. Pretty bad. Pretty bad. Spartan, I need you over here, and we're gonna ask uh, chat what they think about this. Cause I, I I'm at a loss. I really am. I honestly don't know what we're going to do here.
one now. What's up now? I was swinging way too wide. That'd be a sweet line. Wow, you uh, you cleared every single tree. Told you. Wow. I gotta start a this room up turn right a little sooner. Hello, Guru. Of course, now that's too sharp. How about you just bring it up from your side? Okay. Because I've got a straight stretch here that you can easily link into. Me trying to link up with your side around this corner. Gigantic pain in the ass. Like I said, this is a 22 degree corner. And if you have to, I can pull this back a little bit. Give you time to straighten out. Good and lined up here. There we go. Sweet. All right, now come help me with this switch because this, I don't know what we're going to do here. Actually, an idea come back to it after we hear what you say about this i'm gonna ask chat as well because I, I really don't know what we're gonna do down here it's such a it's such a pinch point down here i don't know if we're gonna be able to get two lines to wrap through we might have to back up or even even put a switch like right here maybe and, and cut over and around that might be what we have to do we'll see Oh god, I was rubbing my eye, I fell off the bridge. Yeah, you'll have that. Also, we gotta change this rail for this bridge. Yeah, we can do that. Gotta go with the regular like wood wood deck for uh consistency. Alright, so you're saying like we need to have a switch that goes down to continue the route, right? To well, follow. what I was thinking was initially I wanted the bridge to pull in um not right here. I wanted to pull in closer back there, but just the elevation at three degrees just will not happen. So this is where it has to go at three degrees. Okay. So what that means is you have two options. You can put a switch right here and switch it to go up this line and one to go forward. But the problem is I don't know if you're going to be able to get low enough, fast enough on this piece of track here to then swing to the right and build a bridge underneath this bridge. I just don't know if it's gonna happen. Um, you know? So here's the thing. I plan on following this path all the way down. And I know it's got a, a tight you corner. Yeah, you gotta jump it down here. This but 
I mean, Khan made it through this. So I know it's possible. Well, here's the other problem, though. Where this bridge comes across, I'm not 100% sure that you're... Yeah, see, you don't have an opening right here. You'd have to track through this okay. opening. So what you could do... I mean, we could do that, or you could just delete this section of bridge and then redo it so that you don't have the thing. You know what I mean? Trust me, that's you're asking about a huge headache because it's not all perfect three. I mean, there is also like this right through here. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you it's could do that close. or you could take this outside route, which would be real easy. Just have a little tiny section of bridge and just go right around. So totally possible if you can make this corner. This corner is tight, though. Let's track it and see. Yeah, I'm sure we can make it. I'm going to track. Just because curiosity kills more cats than it saves. Go 22. I don't know, but I got to break out the, tr the saw. Start cutting all these fucking trees again. So, here you go. Here's 22. So what would it require? Try 30. I mean, worst case scenario, we have to go tighter and then we just slow down for this corner. Of course, we're pulling up a 3% grade anyway, so speed's not going to be huge coming through here anyway. Here's what a 30 degree turn does. Unless you uh, started this corner early and made we made a small bridge type, we could just even do it out of rock and just cut right across a little bit earlier. Yeah. I think that's what we're going to have to do. Oh. We'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Let's try to get the rest of this figured out first. I'm going to keep cutting these trees. All right. These two trees gotta go. Yo, Linear coming in with a $10 dono. Much appreciated, my dude.
I think this is probably our best bet here. Something like that. That's about as good as that's going to get. Doug, welcome back, dude. Better get way back over here before I fall through. What are you working on? Uh, the switch at the moment. Oh, at the bridge intersection? Mm-hmm. Gotcha. I'm trying to get you a nice, nice turn down here, and it's... I think I'm going to have to work up at this point. like this. Right there. Okay. Okay. That would work. That would absolutely work. Yo, Linear coming in with another $20 bomb. Play Ghost of Tsushima if you haven't. It's a great game. Isn't that a uh, PlayStation 4 game? I don't quite have a PlayStation, unfortunately. Heard it's good, though. And uh, appreciate the $20, man, for real. done down here is marvelous I hooked you up with a 22 degree corner a three degree grade 
I think this will work out for you. And it passes you directly underneath the um, the bridge. So. If you cut this tree. Oh, Jesus. Ah. Dang. All right. I think I finally got this figured out. Rico flying. You played it through on PS5. It's definitely worth it. Nice. Yeah, I just don't have a PlayStation, unfortunately. I got Xbox and I have... What the fuck happened here? What happened? Oh, what the... One of my fucking rails work. went all wonky. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna work. This might actually, mm, I don't know, that might be too close to the... Mm, what do you think? Think that's too close to the wall? The box car's gotta hang over? I'm not quite sure. about this just too close no it should be fine everything on the train should fit with inside the wooden pieces you know what i mean okay okay well come look what i made you down here you can tell me if you approve or not got you a three degree 22 degree corner damn russian bots yeah, they're bad tonight, dude. They're all over. This looks fine. Is this still on a downgrade, then? 3%? Uh, yes. Okay. Yes, it is. Yeah, this looks fine. And it, more importantly, it puts you out underneath the track up there with plenty of room side to side. Okay. Well, if you, so, uh, um, if you want to start laying your track up your bridge, I will start yep. coming down this direction until I hit to the spot I haven't started clearing yet. I'll track this up and then I'll come back and I'll... Well, we've got track from this point all the way up to the uh, coal mine, so okay. we're doing okay. Well, I think we're kicking ass. We've definitely come a long way since when we started this freaking series, that's for sure. Uh, is this 22 degrees on both of these corners? Uh, I'm not sure about the first corner. Mm okay.
ahead and get to a straightaway here so I can load this track. It's probably gonna load, probably gonna lag the game. God, I really wish this wasn't a thing, man. This fucking bullshit where I'm trying to like pull rails off the switch. So annoying. Man, this looks pretty good, dude, from up here. Looks pretty good. Yeah. Out of curiosity, what did you end up setting for that first corner? Uh, it was an, like a multiple variation. <laughs> yeah. Started out at like 5% and then ended up at a 22%. And then, uh, yeah, then dropped it to yeah. like 16 and then, yeah. A little bit of everything. I mean, I figured it was inside of the limits when I, when I laid it. I laid it by hand. Tell you what's always fun is trying to uh, figure out where the 22 degrees starts for these corners. Almost fell off. This is looking legit. In fact, I'm, I'm about to be back on the wood, and uh, from the wood up, it's not uh, terribly far to the peak, so. Peak said peak. Peak said peak. Right. What up, Retro? How's it going? Shoban as well? So, you self-taught yourself for at least by Beethoven? Okay, on track to the peak. On to the peak. Peak said peak again.
All right, so it's not perfect, but it's fucking good enough. It's really only one hiccup in this whole corner. Otherwise, it looks pretty good. Yeah, it did some funky things down there at the bottom of the valley. I'm checking the lines. I think I think the bridge is solid as hell. I'll clear out in front of you if you would like to uh, lay some more. All right, I think I ironed out that kink. What time is it? Two o'clock for you. Two a.m. already. Jesus. What do you mean already? We're in here busting our asses. You know, it'd be really cool is if we could send our save files back and forth to each other you can it's like i know that's like if i was like hey i'm gonna stay up and play for another couple hours and work on more bridge you'd save the game send me the copy and then tomorrow or whenever we do it again i can send you the the copy back okay now Pete gets to play around with the next bridge and it looks like an absolute bitch. This is gonna suck.
tell you what, though, I learned a lot of valuable lessons making those first couple bridges. Mm hmm. Really translating in how I'm doing this one. No, 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 don't fall down the big hill. Come on. Yay! Yeah, bridge sim. Pretty accurate. All right, which section do we need to be on? Lower side or the higher side? I'm guessing the lower side. Hmm. All right, so this is definitely the direction that this wants me to go. God, there's so many trees to cut. I hope they add a chainsaw or something. I think I'm going to throw up a It'll save. Be Yep. Um, how long have I been streaming for? Two and a half hours. I think I'm going to go ahead and call it a night. Um, no! I know. I just got other things I got to do. So, uh, we've gotten a lot done. Like, no joke. Like, you've built the bridge all the way from the top of the peak down. I built the top area and down to your bridge. Like, we, we've gotten a lot done. Hold on, let me get this one piece in and then you can consider wimping out. Dude, it's two in the morning. I still gotta record my narration for my video. And then I gotta go do, go do laundry. So... Oh, you already did your laundry. No. I was recording the videos. Now I gotta record okay. the narration. Well, don't save, because I gotta rip that up anyways. Okay, okay, okay. Are you out of here then? Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and call it. You said don't save? Yeah, don't save. Okay. I'm gonna rip that up anyways. Alrighty, well. This next section that I'm about to have to do literally like doubles back on itself and goes through the middle of the forest. It's gonna be a pain in the neck. So You might just wanna, you know, cancel that out and just do your own route. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know where that line goes. I'm going to jump up here and look real quick because I'm on the peak. 
But I, I stopped cutting trees because I really couldn't tell where it was taking me. Yeah. So it literally, like, comes around this calder or, like, this little uh, corner and then goes all the way back under the section that you just built. Like, the, the very, like, bridgey section that we just did. Like yeah. This cuts underneath that, basically. Right across the front of it. And goes right down the face of the coal mine mountain. And I'm fairly confident if you look at the map, it looks like it would follow all the way down to the big waterfall and then back around that direction. So, I think that's way out of the way. So what I'm jumping up on the highest peak right now. What I'm contemplating is just uh, stopping kind of right here on this corner right after we come out of the, the bridge section that we built and just yeeting myself off into the the wasteland out there with bridges. It makes the most yeah. sense. Rather than following this, this literal, this track will literally be 30 miles long to go to the smelter. If we do it this way. Oh wow! I'm at the, <laughs> I'm at the peak, and I can see the iron mine right there. Yep. And there is no chance you're hooking up between the iron and that. There's no chance. So that thing is gonna have it has you loop around and goes back, so it makes a big circle drive basically and then cuts back yeah it's down literally towards... a switchback and it goes right okay. underneath where i'm standing right now which is right next to your uh your bridge and my bridge that that link up or your bridge mm -hmm. and my path but like it goes all the way down you can see it from here and goes underneath the the edge where the uh coal oh, mine is and back. stuff yeah it's literally like a huge switchback so Man. I figure once I come out of this little thing, I'm just going to go straight, point myself right down the middle of Red River Valley down there, and get the fuck out of Dodge. <laughs> right, right, right. Because fuck this nonsense. Yeah. Well, I've got a huge task ahead of me to build that next bridge. It's going to be ginormous. Colorado or North Carolina? Both are good. Colorado's slow. North Carolina's got speed. They both have the same guns. Uh, Colorado gets eight guns versus nine guns, right? No. Colorado's two, four, six, eight. Yeah. 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 So, NC's nine. Personally, they're both good. The mobility of the North Carolina comes in handy. So... If I had you to, and plus, better. plus right now the Kansas is, is so freaking good that, uh, I would honestly recommend somebody go for that over the Iowa right now, just due to the fact that the Iowa just isn't as accurate, which is stupid when you think about it, but Kansas is buff yeah. is no fucking joke, man. Yeah. And maybe they'll buff the Iowa again one day. <laughs> they'll probably nerf it again. But on that, uh, you said no save, right? No save. All right. I'm going to go ahead and call it a night. We'll have to get back together uh, in the future, near future, hopefully. Okay. But uh, I will catch you later, dude. Later. All right, guys. I uh, appreciate everybody dropping by. Uh, sorry for the shorter stream tonight, but after six hours of this last night, plus the fact that I got other stuff I got to get done tonight before I go to bed, uh, I just got to go. So, uh, appreciate everybody dropping by. Hopefully you enjoyed a little bit of, uh, Railroads with Peak. And if you like what we're doing, punch the like button, leave a comment below, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And as always, I will see you in the next video.